Hey, good morning. Welcome to Butler Homestead. Hey, I want to just start out this morning just telling you something, and I've always been one like this. I made a mistake on my previous video, and if you uh, happen to look at my video, it's called I was ranting some about some things. Well, you know all these alphabet companies that we got? We got CDCs and USDAs and FDAs and CIAs and PDQ or whatever they call. Uh, I made a mistake yesterday. I had, in, in that video, something happened in my mind and I called out this one company called USDA, said they did this, and or I mentioned that, but it was not the USDA, it was the CDC. And so just like we say on all of these videos, you look it up for yourself. But I wanted to let you know that when that mistake was made, I wanted to correct that. So if you wanna go back and watch that video, uh, I mentioned USDA and that's not it. It was supposed to be CDC. And uh, so, but that's, I wanna correct that. And, but like we always say, you need to go back and look it up for yourself to make sure you, that I'm telling you, don't count on everything that you hear from everybody, but you just go look it up for yourself and look it up and you'll find all this information. So, but today's a different day, new day, right here on the homestead. We're doing something as you can see right here. Here's a chicken tractor. Uh, we built this chicken tractor a little over a year ago and uh, out of pieces of wood and stuff that I'd gotten over a period of time. So I believe in, you know, you just use what you got. So, but inside here is something a little bit different and I want to show you that. That's the reason for this is that, oh, back a couple of, two, about two and a half weeks ago, uh, we incubated and we ended up with about 19 biddies told you about those biddies. Well, today we're putting them on the grass today. And uh, what I did, I got up this morning in the dark and went up and captured them, put them on in little pins. And so I want to show you the pins that they're in. Now they're going to be making some noise, but they're okay. Uh, I've already got water in there for them, but I'm going to put this pin up. Yeah, they're in there just to making noises. And let's see. You see down in there, I've got to put some of them out. So uh, I'm going to be taking them out of this pen over here. They've never been on grass before. So I'm going to take one of them out. It's just taking a little time to get them out because they've never been on grass before and I uh, wanted you to be in on this. We treat them as nice as we can. These are pretty some pretty chickens right here. Beautiful this is a future day. rooster. Look at that one's trying to climb that <laughs> cage and get out of there. Okay, this is a, a black chicken. It has black feet. Everything about it is black. I believe he's got a little bit of that Asian Samani. Oh my goodness. <laughs> got one up here on the. No, 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 no. No, no. All right, listen, I got to move along here. Yeah, honey. To get them out of here. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just. Uh, they don't know what to do in they here. They are loving this, eh? All right, let's see, here goes some more. Real pretty chicken. Buff Orpingtons, too. These are different uh, than any of our other chickens. You know, most, a couple of weeks, well, actually, a couple of months ago now, it's been we had a predator and they had gotten into our chicken pens, I believe about three times before yeah. we were able to, well, they finished them off just about, except for about five and six. And uh, so we have a, just a few left, but now we, we're starting over a little bit. So this is wonderful. And they've never been on the grass. Yeah. I'm gonna put them some feed down here. This is organic uh, chicken feed that we're getting. And uh, we have them watered. 
and they're on the grass. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you can see all of them in there. They're, they're just gonna see, they're just looking around saying, what's going on here? <laughs> uh. We got the first ones that I put out of these, but they'll eventually get back in here together. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this down so yeah. it'll calm them down. But we go around on this chicken tractor like most of them. We want to make sure it's this. Now, they'll start coming out of there in a minute. And uh, they pretty little chickens though. Well, they won't come out of the pen. No, they won't they get out the settle pen. Settle down a little bit. And but they'll get out get and move grass. around. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guy. <laughs> he said, this is different. We're just bathing yeah. in the sun. Yeah, they're going to be so pretty. But our roosters will eventually go to freezer camp and the hens will keep so that we can have some more hens. Right now we only have five hens, I believe it is. So, never did catch the predator, but he hasn't been back. I guess he figured he got his fill or something, I'm not sure. They'll get out and go to moving around before long, and they'll start scratching. They'll catch little bugs and uh, eat bugs and seeds, and they're gonna poop on this now. In about two days, it's gonna bestartle them, but in about two days, we're gonna take, like most chicken tractors, they're gonna get used to this rope and me pulling them, but I'm gonna move them the distance of this out this way on the grass so they'll have some more grass, fresh grass to be on and scratch on. And right now, all they've got, they've never done this. So this is a brand new thing. At Butler Homestead, we'd like to do as much as we can about utilizing the stuff that we have, just like the tin and the, the wire and stuff and stuff we already had that we'd had for a long time. Uh, we collected over a period of time from people that were moving and we've got some different things like chicken wire and uh, had a friend of mine who got me a bunch of uh, tin from off of old chicken houses and brought me about well you saw that one of our videos had us hauling a bunch of uh, tin around uh, that's where Alice was she was uh, walking around videotaping uh, us her carrying a bunch well, of tin some have seen that but we did not put it on the YouTube it's on a we need to put that one yeah, on there. Yeah, we will. We can, because yeah. that's, that's funny to watch. It's, now. it's an older one. It's only, well, it's about, how old is that video? About maybe less than a year old. Less than a year yeah. old, yeah. Yeah. But that was a lot of tin. It was a lot of fun. It was very noisy tin carrying it. <laughs> yeah, they're sitting For in there in the shade. But they're going to come out in the sun. Yeah. And, uh, there they are. You well, they're can not hear used them. to the sun. They've never seen, been in the sun before. Right, right. Yeah. Well, while we're while I've got you here, let's let's walk down this way a little bit. I want to show you this little garden that we had planted, and uh, some of the things that are growing. Our we finally got comfrey going, and we got it over here, quite a bit of it. Uh, we started with a friend of ours had some comfrey, and we went and got a little bit of it, and we have split it up, and we have this now this big piece of comfrey and by the way you can feed your chickens uh goats cows everything this different type of comfrey you probably already know this we have two more patches of comfrey that's growing over here but you can, we had a bunch of basil but we had a frost y'all know about the frost <laughs> well the frost kind of tore up what we've got but we're going to try to save seeds out of this now and uh but you can see, but those comfries, what we're looking for, because we're gonna eventually, as we work in this, we're gonna separate them next spring. We're gonna get it started to where we can have more and more comfrey, to where we can eventually uh, have uh, just raising our, uh, our livestock and feeding them natural things, organic things that we grow on the farm. Uh, it's gonna take some doing, to, but we're, gonna, we're working toward it. Uh, but these are things that we're doing. Uh, and we're also going to be getting some pigs, uh, maybe a couple of pigs, and um, y'all can see all the as you can woods see back, back there. Here, 
very all close. All these bushes and stuff, we're gonna get some hog, hog, hog wire, or not hog wire, oh. uh, we're gonna get some of these uh, uh, like pre rolls one fencing and stuff. pig fencing, fencing and stuff, yeah. so we can set it up and they can take care of all this stuff that we've got in here. Uh, Except for the blueberry bushes. But stuff that we can do that they'll clean it out for us and then they'll make it easier for us to cut down some of the things. Right. But we're gonna get us, hopefully, uh, before much longer, we'll have us a couple of pigs and yeah. put them out there. But I tell you, I just wanted to get with you this morning to let you know, and that sun's kind of working in the camera. I'm gonna move away from it. But I wanted to let you see what the chickens that we were gonna put on the grass for the first time. And uh, in the days to come, we'll let you know what goes on with these biddies and how they grow uh, and how much they mature. Because it won't be, as Alice said, it won't be much longer before some of these will go to freezer camp. But the hens, we're going to keep them for future uh, egg layers. Uh, we're going to be doing this. But we're, we're going to have to build another chicken tractor, which we'll let you know about that. Uh, we're going to have one that's a little bit a little bit different. And right where Alice is standing, and uh, we're going to also have uh, some of the chicken wire that we're going to start with, and we're going to close it in. we got to build a chick shawl. I'm looking forward to that. we got to find some big tires, though. we got to get some of that. <laughs> Well, we're gonna build one of those and just take these, this next pin all the way around the house and we'll take you on one of those journeys when that happens. But this is where it starts, right here, with these little bitties. Uh, they're gonna get out here. Uh, matter of fact, they're eating in there now, but we're gonna, that's what we're gonna start with. And we're gonna start moving them around the house. Uh, so, I don't think uh, our cats are gonna know, wanna know what to do about all of this. But they're, they're doing their job. They're, they're out here catching uh, different things and bringing them to our back door. Isn't that sweet of them? <laughs> yes, sir. But we're, we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna get busy and do some more things, but we'll keep you informed in, as, as the day goes by. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this video, uh, but it's gonna be, we're gonna upload it before much longer. But now that you know, ch always check out your cell phone what people tell you about this is happening and that's happening. You study up for yourself uh, because, but when you make a mistake, you admit what you made the mistake and you move on. I mean, everybody, we're entitled to our mistakes. But listen, y'all have a blessed day. And uh, Alice, and, is there anything thank, you wanna thank say? Thank y'all so much for joining us on this journey. And, and we really enjoy what we do and, and we want to encourage others um, as they start this journey also with growing your own food and, and including everything, vegetables, whether it's vegetables or meat or, or either or both. Um, but just um, trust the Lord that, that he's going to help you get through all this that we're they going will. through, that our country is going, that the world is going through right now. That's right. It's all and, over uh, the place, yeah, all the problems yeah. that we're having. But listen, you can help us out too. We need your help. Uh, we're trying to get this word out as much as we can, and you can help us by sharing the videos that we do, share them with your friends and your family, uh, and then also we want you to, to come in and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, we, we need some subscribers uh, so that the word can get out and we can share with you the things that are going. Uh, and go ahead and in that little area down below where you just got the uh, okay, give us a thumbs up on that, that it's gonna be good. And we appreciate that and all the help that you can give us. But we appreciate you. We love you and God loves you. Yes. And you just have a blessed day in the Lord. Yeah. God bless you See all. you the next time.